Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Knight's Kingdom review, and this one is on uh, Sir Santos and Sir Deraju from 2005, of course. So I'll start out with Deraju, of course. So as you can see, you which quite the same as the previous version, of course, or similar to that, but also back parts is also the same but that but also interesting color scheme like the rest of it like him at first like with the purple and now gold instead of yellow but which which we even though we did also get to see that on Toa or Onua Uniter and or Master and Uniter and the uh, Terak creature of Earth in Generation 2 Bionicle of course So I'll start out with the feet, or feet, or from the ground up, like always. Starting with the feet and lower legs. Well, unlike with the previous two I reviewed, well, or, but the feet pieces, which are the same color as the previous one. And also a unique shade of gold, which, as compared to Sir Raskus here. Which of course is a darker gold. This is a brighter gold, and of course, kind of interesting to see two different shades of a of a color at once. And of course, and of course, this did carry on to probably Butaka the following year in Bionicle, of course. <clears throat> and then a little further up. I would same exact uh, style for the upper legs as the previous version did, but and also the joint bits to it are actually in a lightish gray instead of a yellow, kind of a bummer. And as for the uh, body torso piece, which just about all similar to the other ones, which but in a gold uh, texture and also does have have a wolf uh, sculpted into it quite nicely for that in the arms of which just about the same as all the other figures of which but in the gray purple and gold color scheme to it and also do get this nice cool sword piece which you can definitely use on on most mocks if you want or maybe even for a uh, link from legend of zelda kind of mock if you wanted but yeah and as for the shield here, oh, which also nice sculpting onto it, oh, which with the wolf on it, of course, and like the others, of which eight studs in the center and two additional studs down below, oh, which kind of cool and very nice for that. And of course, the whole thing which you can pop right off and add some pieces onto to and add the previous shields onto, which I mentioned in my last review. Which you can see, which you can see in the description below, but yeah. And on the back side of which, just the lever that makes the feature work, which which I'll go over a little later. And it's just one of it, like the previous version, but yeah. And on to the head and mask piece, also just the same as the last version, but with some prints on, as of course. And also the face print, also the same, of course. Of which with the yellow skin coloring, but yeah. <clears throat> and now on to a little comparison with the previous version. Which, as you can see, we've got the upper armor pieces, of which quite the same, but it's to, instead it's upside down for that kind of interesting and of course a lot of gold instead of some yellow to it and also what's kind of interesting is the sword bit, bit. this was a little smaller and it's dark gold but now a lot larger and it's brighter gold kind of interesting how that is and as for the heads of which heads and masks we're saying that but Whereas, however, one's in light gray and one's in a darker gray, but also expressions a little bit more open, like with a more open to smirk instead of closed to smirk. Kind of interesting, of course. 
And of course, shields kind of similar, but like with the wolf prints on them, of course. And also a similar feature to that of having just one leather fit. And also how the thrack one is directly up and down, but this one of which is like sideways. So, of which quite unique and different for that. And as for articulation, same exact as all these other figures, of which with the ratcheted joints and, of course, and it been also decent out of the uh, left arm, of course. But yeah. And also, upper limb pieces now in purple instead of in like gray, like the previous version. Great improvement for that. And yeah. And that's it with Derridge. And now on to Sir Santos, of which I can see also good improvement over the last one. one but with few similar bits to him, but oh, as you will see, but yeah. That well, for the legs of which, quite sim kind of similar to most of the other figures of this line. But whereas for the armor bit of which, you're probably going to think it might be silver, like on Sir Jacobs, as, as you can see here, but actually it's metallic blue. Kind of interesting for this one's color scheme, but, well, since it's outside Bonacle, it won't ma kind of matter, won't matter a bit. But also the upper limb pieces are, has some, are in dark, dark tan, kind of interesting. And as for the uh, body piece of which, which is kind of unique for that and of course has some nice sculpting into it like with the bear in symbol in there and the arm switch just the same as all the rest of the figures but with red and dark tan onto it and also the sword piece of which which is kind of exclusive to him and but with nicely done to that and as for this uh, a shield piece of which, which, again, same styling of studs like the rest of which, but with a bear on it, of course. And for the back of which, same reverse studs as the pre other ones of which, but the feature a little different, which I'll go over later. And as for the head and mask area, which, as you can see. <coughs> The same exact mask piece as the previous version, but with some uh, sand blue prints onto it, and flip up, and same exact face print as the rest, past one, but yeah. And so now for a comparison, as, as compared to the previous year's version of Santa's, which as, and also like the other figures of this way. Where the upper leg armor, just the same as the path previous one, but flipped upside down. And as you see, the, this one did have some dark tan onto it, but at least the dark tan is a little bit more spread out. And also the swords, which kind of similar a bit, but where on this version, it was just where the sand blue was just on one bit of it. And this one, it's on more parts and kind of interesting. And as the masks of which, the same but one with printing, and of course the flip button, the same face prints, but one's on a dark tan head, and this one's on a dark gray head. So at least good to see some change to that. And on the back of which, one has just the slash up and down type of feature. And this one, a little different, of course. And now, how this one works like is if you like hold it like that and have your thumb on that you can switch them back and forth so you can get some good swishing action that way so which kind of interesting how that is but also makes his body kind of wobbly a, a bit of course so now for the articulation of which cream standard of all the figures of course 
unless if you can get this one positioned about right, even though it kind of stiff a bit, but yeah. And legs also all the same. And it's now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these are quite cool sets. That's where they are, how they are. Like, interesting color schemes of armor and whatnot, and also good improvements over the previous versions of them. And also interesting uh, shield pieces, sword, sword and shield pieces that you can use on any mocks you want, and also armor pieces that would look great on most Bonicle Hero Factory mocks as well. But yeah. And also, good that they kept the face prints on both of them, but yeah. Although, and of course, both of which kind of cut to the same color schemes, but with a little extra to add it to them, but yeah. And so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. <coughs> and if you're in... If you like missed out on them and looking to get these as or still get these, definitely get them. Definitely pick them up. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.